life happens. This may be one of the ultimate papers. This was done in Japan and in the US, published at the same time, and it rebooted skin cells into stem cells last year. That means that you can take the stuff right here and turn it into almost anything in your body. And this is becoming common. It's moving very quickly. It's moving in a whole series of places. Third trend, robots. Those of us of a certain age grew up expecting that by now we would have Rosie the robot from the Jetsons in our house. And all we've got is a Roomba. <laughs> we also thought we'd have this robot to warn us of danger. Didn't happen. And these were robots engineered for a flat world, right? So Rosie ran on skates, and the other one ran on flat threads. If you don't have a flat world, that's not good which is why the robots we're designing today are a little different. This is Boston Dynamics Big Dog. And this is about as close as you can get to a physical Turing test. Okay, so let me remind you, a Turing test is where you've got a wall, you're talking to somebody on the other side of the wall, and when you don't know if that thing is human or animal, that's when computers have reached human intelligence. This is not a intelligence Turing test, but this is as close as you can get to a physical Turing test. And this stuff is moving very quickly, and by the way, that thing can carry about 350 pounds of weight. These are not the only interesting robots. You've also got flies, the size of flies, that are being made by Robert Wood at Harvard. You've got sticky bots that are being made at Stanford. And as you bring these things together, as you bring cells, biological tissue engineering, and mechanics together, you begin to get some really odd questions. In the last Olympics, this gentleman, who had several world records in the Special Olympics, tried to run in the normal Olympics. The only issue with Oscar Pistorius is he was born without bones in the lower part of his legs. He came within about a second of qualifying. He sued to be allowed to run, and he won the suit but didn't qualify by time. Next Olympics, you can bet that Oscar or one of Oscar's successors is gonna make the time. And two or three Olympics after that, they are gonna be unbeatable. And as you bring these trends together, and as you think of what it means to take people who are profoundly deaf, who can now begin to hear, I mean, remember the evolution of hearing aids, right? I mean, your grandparents had these great big cones, and then your parents had these odd boxes that would squawk at odd times during dinner. And now we have these little buds that nobody sees. And now you have cochlear implants that go into people's heads and allow the deaf to begin 